Gold has a long history as a valuable metal. As far back as 3000 BC, Egyptians have used gold as an exchange rate. Since then, the use of gold has changed drastically, shifting from being used as a currency to an important investment asset. It is important to note that gold is an important diversification asset in any portfolio. It should help to reduce volatility within your portfolio by hedging against unforeseen events. Gold's prices are mainly driven by four factors. The first is inflation expectations. Due to its limited supply, gold is used as a hedge against inflation. When there are inflation fears, gold prices tend to rise. Inflation in the US and generally across the world is expected to remain benign. The second factor is interest rates. Gold is a non-income yielding asset, which means that one can only benefit from gold via capital gains. When interest rates are high, the appeal of coupon yielding bonds become more attractive than gold, causing gold prices to fall. There are no inclinations by the Fed to cut or raise rates this year. The third factor is dollar strength. Gold is typically quoted in US dollars, but its largest consumers are found in China and India in the form of jewelry purchase. A weaker dollar gives more purchasing power to Chinese and Indian buyers. Our view is that the US dollar could cede some strength to Asian currencies this year as stability from the trade truce results in a pickup in economic activity. Finally, fear sentiment. Gold is a hedge against uncertainty, which may explain why there is a gold rush of late. When fear sentiment increases, including fears of recession, of wars, virus pandemics, people rush to buy gold. There has been worrying developments on many fronts, including US-Iran tensions and the Wuhan coronavirus. They are keeping fear sentiment high. Depending on how these events unfold, they could send gold prices either way. The support factors for a continued gold rally in 2020 are therefore a weaker dollar and rising fear sentiment. On the flip side, stabilizing interest rates and benign inflation expectations are expected to pressure gold prices downwards. This means gold prices may stay at current levels in the near term until there is better clarity on the US-Iran tensions and the Wuhan coronavirus. Separately, early hockey sickness by the Fed regarding interest rate policy has the potential to send gold prices down as well, although we have not seen that inclination. This means the bearish pressures may outweigh the positive as we inch deeper into the year, contingent on geopolitical factors.